fine so we'll discuss design of experiments design of experiments this comes under anova unit number 4 unit number 4 a theoretical portion of our mathematics right so in this design of experiments what we are going to see is we are going to see the definition definition of design of experiment okay next we are going to see basic principle in design of experiment basic principle in design of experiment then we are going to see advantage and disadvantages advantage and disadvantages next we are going to see what is the meaning of complete randomized design complete randomized design this is called as crd method this is called as crd method can you mute please hmm? can you mute thank you then we are going to see layout of design layout of design then we are going to see statistical analysis okay so these are the topic we are going to find uh, like see finally we are going to see test of hypothesis test of hypothesis so these are the things you are going to see now so let me start with the definition definition of doe doe means design of experiment what is this uh, like let me make in a point ways so that it will be easy for us to understand see design of experiment may be defined as the logical construction of the experiments in which the degree of uncertainty with which the influence is drawn may be well defined it is nothing but first one it may be defined as logical logical construction is a logical construction of the experiments logical construction of the experiments this logical the experiment it is uncertain because whatever experiment we do we don't get the uh, exact solution at one stretch maybe we can explore the uh, result of the experiment in one stretch also but very rare cases but whatever the reason behind why we doing the experiment means because it has some uncertain results so we are going to build a logical construction so that to extract that uncertainty of the result we are going to use this design of experimentation which means a logical construction so when you do this logical construction what it does is you can we can draw well defined well defined results so by using the logical construction we can develop the well defined results i am just making as a point instead of a paragraph okay so the first point is it is a logical construction by using the logical construction we can get the well defined results this is called design of experiments 
Okay. So what is mean by experiments? What is mean by experiments? Deepak, can you try what is mean by experiment? We are going to conduct uh, some physical uh, thing to get an uh, values in real time. Okay. We are going to... Can you repeat the word? Just like uh, we are going to conduct the work or things in a real time to get obtain a real values. At that real point. time, real values. Okay, for some extent, our uh, uh, the definition what uh, uh, Deepak has given it comes. Okay, let me put in a technical point. Experiment basically it is a device. It is a device for getting answer. For getting answer, for getting an answer to the problem, to the problem under under consideration, under consideration. See. What does it mean by this? It is a device for getting the uh, answer to your problem under certain con uh, consideration or sub certain condition. Instead of consideration, you should put some condition. So this will be a proper word. So that is called as an experiments. So when you speak about the experiments, we have two types of experiments. Two types of experiments. or two condition or you can tell two consideration while doing an experiment. First one is absolute. Second one is comparative. Okay. So these are the consideration or condition. So what is meant by absolute? When what is meant by absolute? What when you conduct an experiment, you will get an absolute value. Okay, so when you get an absolute value, so the characteristic of that experiment will give you the absolute experiment. What is meant by comparative? So when you have two or more object two or more object if you make comparison between this two or more object then it is called as comparative experiment okay you have any doubt no no so what is mean by absolute uh, experiment means it will have absolute value or true value. The characteristic of the experiment will be absolute experiment. What is comparative uh, experiment? Two or more object we are going to compare so that the characteristic of that particular experiment will give you comparative experiment. So this is the fundamental uh, difference. So these are the two condition or consideration for uh, conducting an experiment. Okay. Fine. It's treatment. Treatment. What does it mean by treatment? Treatment is nothing but various types of object used to do or used for comparative experiment. Comparative experiment is called as 
treatment. So, can you give me any example, Deepak, so that I can be able to make it out? Deepak? Mm, I am thinking. Fine. So, I have two students. Student A and student B. Okay. Student A, CAE worth 300 out of 400. Student B got 250 out of 400. So, I am just finding these people who is best among them. So, how I am finding uh, whether A or B is the best. How can I judge whether A or B is the best? Based on the performance. Uh, like, uh, this CIE mark. This CIE mark helps me to judge who is better. That is nothing but treatment. The CIE is nothing but the treatment. So various type of object used for comparative experiment is called treatment. Okay. The, like based on CIE, I can able to make a comparison. Okay. If I take two... Uh, two types of motorcycle, for example, I have two types of motorcycle. I have two different motorcycle. Okay, so this two type of motorcycle, I want to buy any one of them. How I am going to find which is good? I am going to see based on the performance, based on the mileage based on the comfort, based on the cost. Among these two, I am going to see all this criteria. Then I am going to conclude that whether bike A or B, by whether the red color bike or green color bike, I should buy. So these criteria is an object, is an object that is nothing but our treatment. Any doubt? No. No. Fine. So some of the real time application. Next. Experimental units. Experimental units. What do you mean by experimental units? It is the smallest division of an experiment. Experimental materials in which treatment can be applied is called experimental unit. The smallest division of the experimental material. Smallest division of the experimental experimental material in which treatment can be applied is called experimental unit for example same example i wish to give you Two people CAE. Okay. One one fellow got 300 out of 400. The other fellow got 250 out of 400. So can you tell me, Deepak, how you can quantify this? Mm -hmm. In terms of marks. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Marks. So yeah, what is the experimental unit? It is marks. Okay, so 300 by 400, 250 by 400, it, it, it is just a numerical value, but we are going to give a mark so that it gives an experimental unit. By this way, I can determine, okay, this fellow is good because yeah, he's got so much marks than this one. 
okay this is the smallest division of the experimental material in which treatment can apply treatment is cae for treatment i am going to quantify in terms of box right next blocks blocks if i if experimental material is divided into homogeneous groups then each group is called a block Okay. Again, the same example I wish to give you. One fellow got three hundred out of four hundred. Other two fifty out of four hundred. So, what is mean by block? This is not the marks of one subject. It is a cumulative of all the subjects. So, subject one, subject two, subject three, subject four. He got three hundred. So, each subject is called as what? blocks understood good fine next experimental error next is experimental error the smallest division of the experimental material in which treatment can apply sorry in the experimental material if the treatments are applied to the unit there must be a variation in the treatment effect such type of variation such type of variation differs from point to point is called experimental error so variation in the treatment of the of the experimental material is called experimental error okay fine so i am going to add one fellow get 32.5 33.2 so if i add this to how much i will get can you add and tell me a fellow got his marks in max he got 65.7 ah uh, in advanced fluid mechanics he got so much ah uh, 55. Point? 5.7 7 okay so uh, when it is 7 means it is more than after decimal it more than 5 we are going to round off it what 56 okay what is mean by experimental error how much the error uh, like error happened here it is 0.3 marks 0.3 marks there is an error fine so variation in the treatment of the experimental material is called as experimental error actually the value is this but we are rounding off this so what happens there is a variation between the actual and the obtained value this is called as experimental error in the error material understood no yeah come up come Uh, that is a sixty-five point seven six six. Oh, it's a sixty-five. Okay, sixty-six point seven. Sixty? No, no, no. Sixty-five point seven. Sixty-five point seven. Okay, sixty-five point seven. Ah, got sixty-six again. Point three marks is error. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Thank you. I also not very good. Thank you very much. Fine. Ah, uh, next. That is the error, right? That is error. That is error. This is the experimental error. This is the experimental error. Experimental error. 
okay fine next uh, we'll discuss one more topic replication replication what is mean by replication can you tell me the basic definition of replication what is mean by replica it is nothing but xerox and a repetition repetition of treatment repetition of treatment for example so minimum passing mark in ca is 20 one fellow is getting 18 i am going to conduct once again the internals he is getting 19 again i am going to conduct internals he getting 20 so till i get a proper value i am going to repeat the treatment because ca is a treatment as i said you i am going to repeat the process again and again 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 so that i'll get a proper solution that is called as replication got it next next precision precision if a treatment is repeated r times the precision is reciprocal of variance of mean so precision is nothing but replication of mean Re sorry uh, reciprocal of mean variance sorry variance of mean so if the treatment is conducted r times r times the precision the precision is the reciprocal reciprocal of variance of mean variance of mean okay variance of mean so what is meant by precision precision is nothing but 1 by v of x that is 1 by sigma square by r that is nothing but r by sigma square so by definition it is nothing but reciprocal of variance with respect to n number of uh, uh, what is that n number of replication or n number of uh, uh, conduction of the experiment he has said so uh, what is this means for example i am going to conduct cae for one student he is getting 18 okay again i am conducting again is getting 18 again i am conducting again is getting 18 so what is the precision here 18 marks is the precision because continuously getting the same marks or some something 18 17 16 16 17 18 so what is the precision here this one is the precision okay so divided by the mean variance of the mean sigma square if i do that i get my precision okay understood do you have any doubt no 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 okay sir so efficiency of design efficiency of design efficiency of design what is the efficiency of design see basically what is mean by efficiency of the design means suppose let us consider two design d1 and d2 okay so d1 is repeated r times with sigma 1 square d1 it is repeated r times with sigma square d2 is repeated r times of sigma 2 square 
okay the ratio of precision of two design d1 and d2 the ratio of precision precision d1 and d2 d1 and d2 is called efficiency of design so how to write this mathematically how can you write mathematically efficiency sorry efficiency of design or design efficiency it is given by e that is nothing but d1 by d2 what is d1 r divided by r1 divided by sigma 1 square divided by r2 divided by sigma 2 square so if i cross multiply it i'll get as r1 by sigma 1 square into sigma 2 square by r2 okay am i right am i right yes. okay this is uh, recheck the cross multiplication so this is your uh, uh, like uh, a, a, like efficiency of design fine okay so the first part we have completed with the uh, definition of design of experiment we have just completed the first part so what are the things we have discussed uh, we'll make it in a brief note okay what is mean by design of experiment okay can you tell me deepak what is mean by design of experiment we saw two points logical construction second point we can get well defined results when you construct it logically okay next one we saw treatment sorry next one we saw types of experiment experiment what is mean by experiment experiment is nothing but getting an answer getting an answer under proper condition or consideration in that we saw two types of experiment what is the first type what is the first type how is there yes, yes. Uh, what is the first type of experiment absolute second one is comparative okay next we saw what is mean by treatment what is mean by treatment it is based on our comparative experiment so what is mean by treatment various types of object used for comparison various object when you consider for the uh experiment is called as treatment next next experimental units experimental units what is mean by experimental units it is In experiment a treatment can be applied a uh, smallest division smallest division in an experimental material that is nothing but experimental units right next what we see blocks blocks what is blocks when i divide my 
experimental material in a homogeneous parts homogeneous parts when i divide my experimental material that is nothing but blocks then we saw what is meant by replication 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 means repetition replication means repetition precision precision means when we repeat n and r number of times with the mean variance r number of time with the mean variance divided by the mean variance that is called as the precision then finally we have seen what is the meaning of efficiency of design efficiency of design so efficiency of design is nothing but when i have two different design that is what do you design d1 by d2 so i will get the result as r divided by sigma 1 square into sigma 2 square divided by r this is nothing but our efficiency of the design comparing of two different designs okay so we'll stop here we'll have some we'll take some 5 minutes of break